What's up guys, my name is Alan, I'm a Wix.com developer and in today's video I'm going to teach you guys how to create your very own Wix.com pop-up or better known as the Wix Lightbox. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, in today's example, I'm going to teach you guys how to build a pop-up uh, in pretty much any way that you like uh, visually. So in today's example, we have an online store. They sell sneakers, you can see here, and they have a pipe, uh, a light box or pop-up that basically allows users to subscribe to their emailing list. So this is very common. It can be found on pretty much every single website out there nowadays. And um, in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to build your very own custom Wix.com pop-up. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you want to be inside your Wix.com editor. So um, if you haven't already, just simply go to Wix.com, load up your editor by clicking Edit Site, and you should be welcome to the Wix.com editor. From here, what we want to do is click on the top left-hand corner, which is the plus button, and click on something called Layout Tools. From here, you'll notice an option inside your Layout Tools called Light Boxes. Let's go ahead and simply select a empty blank canvas light box and from here we're going to be able to see this little window or kind of container that pops up here and this is exactly what we're going to use to edit and build out the light box for the very first time. You have a few options such as set triggers, add media, and set up overlays but for now we're not going to worry about any of that. First thing, first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually select the light box, we're going to expand the light box a little bit more to the right and a little bit more to the left. From here, we want to expand it just a further down and a little bit up. I just want to make sure that my light box has enough space so that we can actually start drawing uh, what the light box is going to look like. Again, in today's example, you'll notice that I gave my light box a little bit of room. So if you looked at the example, building this light box was very, very simple. There's simply an image on the left, there's some wording right here in the center, and there's just a contact form right here. Then the automatic exit button is always applied to each light box. So clicking here allows the user to get back to the website. So let's go ahead and get back into our light box one more time by simply clicking on edit site, clicking on the pages, and simply scrolling down to the bottom and looking at a section here called light boxes. Again, you can access the light box by simply clicking on the pages menu and scrolling down to the bottom for light box. From here, if you wanted to start drawing and actually adding elements to the light box, you'll want to go ahead and click on the plus button and you can pretty much add anything to this light box. So for example, in your Wix Studio editor, you want to click on the plus button, click on quick add and simply drag an image right into here. From here, an image will automatically be added. So let's go ahead and grab this image and move it to the top left hand corner and let's go ahead and expand it and make it right about here. Voila, I got the image looking pretty much where I kind of want it. I want to simply now click on the image, click on change image, and from here, I'm just going to go ahead and select an image that I think is um, appropriate. You can find any image, uh, obviously, in your image library, but in today's example, I've used this image. Now, on the right-hand side, I have the white space. Now, remember, in our old example, when we clicked on preview, you'll notice that the light box had content on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and see exactly how we can add this content here. And by the way, if by any means or by, <laughs> if you're looking for an individual specifically to maybe work on your project, definitely consider reaching out to me. I am available via the Wix.com marketplace under Alan Bajo, and I'd definitely love to help you design your own project. So without further delay, um, let's go ahead one more time, click on the edit site. Let's click on the pages. Let's scroll down to the bottom and select our light box. Remember, you can actually rename your light boxes. So in this case, I'm going to rename this and call this um, subscribe for 10% off. You can name each one of your light boxes because you can make as many uh, light boxes as possible. So let's go ahead and do the following. Let's go ahead and click on the add element button one more time. And let's go ahead and grab a piece of text here. From here, I'm going to grab the piece of text and place it anywhere in my light box. Ideally, I'd like to place it on the white uh, section on the right just because I have an image on the left. From here, I can go ahead and double click this text and rename this to anything. In this case, I'll go hello world. If anyone knows PHP, <laughs> uh, that's a little um, Easter egg for you right there. So we're going to go ahead and click on the plus button one more time. We're going to go ahead and add paragraph and we're going to add the paragraph right about here. From here, I'm just going to expand the paragraph to about right here. And now I have a title, I have a description. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some logic to it. I want to entice the user. I want to make sure that if they see my pop-up, maybe they subscribe or maybe they go to a certain page or I want them basically to do something. 
99% of the time, Lightboxes usually do the following. They go ahead and ask a user for their email address. So let's go ahead and click on Add Element. Let's go into Contact Forms right here. And let us scroll down to the contact form called Subscribe uh, to our newsletter. So let's go ahead and grab this and drag it right into our Lightbox. Once it's dragged directly into our Lightbox, um, it should, well, it should pop up. There it is. So um, go ahead and bring the subscription form right about here. Now within, again, this is a little off topic, but Wix Forms allows you to edit the form in any way you like. So let's go and click on Edit Form on this case. And what I want to do is either, uh, you know, ask more questions by adding first name, last name. Of course, I could drag this one way. I could drag this another way. I could, you know, click on here, delete this, and just move this right about here. Click on Save. And in three, two, one, I have a light box that now is asking the user for their first name and their last name. Again, it's pretty simple what we've done here. We've simply added a light box, added an image, added some text, a description, we added a contact form, and now we've basically drawn out our light box. At the top right hand corner, let's go ahead and hit publish. And you'll notice that your light box is now ready to be used. One of the other options you want to go ahead and select is selecting the background uh, right there on the top right hand corner or the top left, bottom right, wherever. Basically, let's go ahead and click anywhere outside of here and you'll notice something called background. From here, we can adjust the background color. It's important to sometimes add a tint so that the users can actually focus on the actual light box itself. Having it at zero sometimes makes it very hard for people to kind of um, pay attention to your light box because there may be other colors in the background. But let's go ahead and actually, in this case, do some really interesting things here. Let's go ahead and select the image. From the image, I'm going to teach you guys a really interesting design concept. Let's scroll down to the bottom right here under Corners. And I want to go ahead and press the little lock button in the middle. And I want to go 20 on the left and 20 on the bottom left. If I go Preview at the top right hand corner, you'll notice that my light box is now curved. There's a really beautiful curve on my image, which is exactly what I want. Ultimately, you want to do your best to draw a light box that actually looks visually beautiful. So another option um, is the following. You can go ahead and trigger your light box from a button. So a light box generally will pop up automatically. So let's go ahead and go into our light box, the subscribe for 10%. Let's click on the white portion here and let's go ahead and select something called set triggers. Setting triggers gives you this little pop up. You can have the light box automatically pop up on a specific page. So if you press yes on here, it says, hey, when would you like the, what page would you like the light box to appear on? You can say home page. Fantastic. So generally speaking, I have two light boxes here. So I'm actually going to delete this light box here. I'm actually going to go back into the main light box I had. I'm going to select the white part again and click on set triggers. This is what you'll see. You've, the light box automatically appears, which is yes, appears on the home page, and the delay is about two seconds. I can say, what about 10 seconds later? Or 15 seconds, 13 seconds, whatever it might be. So after 10 seconds that the user's on, they can go ahead and see this pop up. Now, if you don't want this light box or Wix pop up to show up immediately, what you can do is select no on the automatically display and press on the little X here. From here, let's go ahead and press done. And let's go ahead and trigger that light box from either a button or maybe some text. If you click on a button or text, you'll notice something called link. If you click on link, you'll notice that most of you will either link pages. In this case, we're going to scroll down to the very, very bottom called light box, and we're going to link that text to the light box. We're going to just double click this and make sure it's ununderlined. And once we hit preview, you'll notice that when the user hovers over the text, you've actually linked it to your light box. So light boxes, well, they're pretty simple. Basically, high level, low level, the only thing that we're doing to create a really beautiful pop-up is clicking on the little plus button, clicking on layout um, tools, clicking on light box, adding the light box. Once we've added the light box, we're gonna simply expand the light box, expand the light box, make the light box a little bit larger, a little bit larger, clicking on the background, making sure that the color is nice. Gonna go ahead and click on the plus one more time, quick add, and simply add images, text, and of course, the actual form, which is found under the contact form. So, you know, high level, low level, really easy to do. It's responsive automatically to mobile, which is nice. And um, like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on how to create a beautiful light box using Wix.com, better known as a pop-up on your website.